Hey guys! I'm Danielle. I'm Marjan, and, and together we're the best friends making moves together. Moving together. So today we got some Chinese food, panda, you know, um, chow mein, walnut shrimp, orange chicken, teriyaki chicken. Where's the um, ice and iced tea? I got chow mein, honey walnut shrimp, orange chicken, and Beijing beef. So good. And, oh my God, are you... It never fails, literally, never fails. Thank you all for the school. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is good today. Well, here. I would like to use my arm. Sorry. I'm gonna tell you I got chicken sauce everywhere. It's okay. So we ain't got nothing to talk about, but mm -hmm. um, I don't think I'm hungry. I, I didn't eat nothing all day for real. So yeah, I did. But I'm hungry. And I'm not being like those other people who like, oh my god, I didn't eat nothing. I, I didn't eat all day. I'm so hungry. Just for the video. Like, I actually didn't eat nothing. Like, if I, if I ate something, I would have been like, oh, I ate earlier. But, y'all know? Okay. You stay talking to you. For the person who asked if, if um, where Marjan's dad is, can y'all hear him right now? He back from Louisiana. Talking loud as hell. Yeah. This is good today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It better have been good how to wait for 27 minutes. I know that's right. You want one? What is it? You want some? Mm -hmm. Okay. I guess it's going on in my mouth. Huh? Well, it's good. Only three? Yeah, it's okay. KK <laughs> 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 would never. You can get one. Nah, it's fine. And the cheese and chicken. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not into cream cheese. How many shrimps you got? Mm -hmm. Like maybe five. They be real stingy on the shrimp. Mm -hmm. But if I'm paying an extra 125, I want the extra 125. Oh, buddy. Oh, it's thirsty as hell. Hey. <laughs> Sorry. What? Same. Um, we was gonna try that little TikTok trend with the um, iced tea and the, um, and the ice, ice cream cone, but as y'all know, why it couldn't happen before we even give y'all the answer. Cause that machine was down. He was lying. Yeah, he just didn't want to make it. Like Kool Aid. Pretty nasty. We can talk our um, we can talk about our unpopular opinions. I know you're lying. Um, yeah, mine is, um, 
Kool Aid is good. Kool Aid is actually nasty. That's a, I think that's a popular opinion. Kool Aid is good? No, Kool Aid is nasty is a popular opinion. Oh, I think it's just a stereotype. I hate Kool Aid. Definitely. And I'm black. Um, just keep saying yours. I can't think right now. Um, um, I think this is something that needs to be written down before. <laughs> <laughs> I, guess we just, I guess we just basically, we ain't really got nothing different than y'all. Y'all ain't basically, but um, I, just, I guess the thing like everybody else. And we ain't got no hard thing. Any stories? We ain't got nothing to tell. Nothing. <laughs> we born. Uh. Mm. We made pasta without y'all. <laughs> huh? We made pasta without y'all. Oh, yeah. We was going to make pasta again today, but got up in the stove. Said nope. Saw them prepaid meals. I mean, them, pre them pre-made meals. Then feel like cooking. So we show a little more healthier option. Here's a pan, though. Healthy, yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh oh. I was like, I know it's not a damn hair. My day don't go down. Um, this not fun. No, we really don't got nothing to say. I'm so sorry, but we just hungry today. Maybe it'll come at the end, like always, but... Mm -hmm. What's up mm -hmm. here? Hey, so yeah, what y'all been up to? What are you doing with those? I'm bringing too much tomorrow, I guess. My, my eyes are bigger than my stomach today, y'all. That's stupid. I got me two sides. Chow mein chicken. I can have some lunch tomorrow. I'm full. Mm-hmm. I can't do that with that. Hmm. And to put more pickles and noodles in these um chamein. I think they did good today. Yeah, it was good today. But usually it's more pickle and, and then noodle. You know? <sighs> Next next video it might just be a, um a drink mukbang. Damn. Or we can have some fruit. But fruit don't be good at night, so we gotta find a fruit girl through the day. It should be good at all times of day. If I can give me some more juicy oranges. I gotta Please do not. Come on. Literally don't. Chill, I didn't. You extra. It was a joke. 
No, it was not. <laughs> no, it was. <laughs> oh. She got her head. Yeah. I didn't saw that. She, I don't, I don't know why she left the dang TV on. Oh, yeah, I can't she, eat the rest of this. It's she's be... ugly. I hate seeing her. I mean, my bad. But ever since Trump became president, she's on here all the time. Girl, stop watching TV and make the video. I'm done. And what just the heck are you doing? I don't know. I don't know how this going to hold up later. Uh. Excuse me, that was so nasty. <laughs> now would you try to cover it up afterwards? It makes some room though. This this sweetie ain't doing nothing but we're wishing around the food. I need me some fizzy. Huh. Yeah. She got some hot waters in the in the stove. Uh. <laughs> I'm such a man. <laughs> but I'm her next class really went downhill with um mm -hmm. honey walnut shrimp mm -hmm. when it first came out it was mm -hmm. it was banging but now it's just so far mm -hmm. oh <laughs> <My bad. laughs> you work my nerves mm -hmm. and you always talking about <laughs> you always talking about you always talking about the food you eat Okay. Why? Okay. <laughs> I'm expressing in my thoughts and my feelings. Stop all that smacking. Shut up. It's a mukbang. Remember when we first started doing mukbangs and we had like 300 um, followers and that one video blew up and then somebody was like, all y'all do is eat. It's a Fucking That's like going to the to I have going to AutoZone saying all I got is all the car stuff in here. It don't make no sense. I saw somebody comment that said film um uh, um a what we eat uh, what we eat in in a day. I could do that. But I I eat like <clears> one meal a day. So how that's gonna work. Unless it's a Sunday. On Sundays I I'll be eating everything. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to do a Sunday mukbang. Yep. I'm gonna do a Sunday with a. I had a booger in my nose, but um, I'm gonna have to do you a Sunday so um, what's in my, my what's in my um eating routine. Nia, it ain't disgusting. It's a human thing. And like I blew it out on camera. I don't know. That's weird to me. When people start blowing their nose in a restaurant, that was so disgusting. Like it makes me nauseous. You want these these two? Yeah. They don't get me through my plane anyway. I want the walnut. But the but walnut tastes good. Yeah, but not the shrimp. Where'd it go? Oh. Or, I don't know. It depends. Like, if my attention is like one of the noise of somebody blowing their nose while I'm eating, it just, yeah, it makes me nauseous. I don't know why. I don't like people who blow who blow their nose in public. Mm -mm. Like if we in a store, at least go in the bathroom. Mm -mm. That don't that don't bother me as much as eating them. As eating them? No eating. Oh, like, as somebody, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. As somebody, <laughs> yeah, as, no. like, are you dumb? For me, it's just anywhere in general in public. I'm closing this up. Th this gonna be for for tomorrow. Mm-hmm. I should just got me a dang bowl. Come on, dang bigger plate. I should got a smaller plate. Uh -uh. I got two whole sides left. That's gonna be so good tomorrow at lunch. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Who watch your manifest? Because then y'all don't watch it, and I need somebody to talk to it about. Probably not that good. Which one is calling me? 
this one. It's good. I don't think I should sip too much. Yes, you do. Mm, no, I don't. Yes, you do. Criminal Minds? Yes. But I don't do all that. If you recommend me some, I'm like, it's not that good. I don't do all that. When I was watching wish. Criminal Minds, you said, it's, yeah, it's, it's not that good. 19 seasons? For what? I didn't even watch Grey's Anatomy that long. I wouldn't watch Grey's Anatomy that long. But clearly, if it has that many seasons, then it's good. What does my fortune say? A surprise gift will leave a lasting impression. What'd that mean? I don't know. <laughs> so what y'all be doing in the factory? Typing up anything so y'all can go home? Uh oh. Uh oh. You are so extra. <laughs> No, what did it do to you? Unnecessary. I don't understand what it did to you. I'm about to say they missed my paper in my in my cookie. Mine say something like, "You will find happiness in mind and heart." Please get out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were supposed to go. Mine say, "You are a fine mother." Want you back that? That that that's what I heard. <laughs> Well, my mind don't work that fast. That would have been a classic. <laughs> they should make uh, fortune tellers like that. Ghetto ones? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this cookie is dry. That's all I'm going to F with it. Because you see, that's why I crunch mine up. I don't even eat that graham cracker. It's disgusting. It's good. Though. It's disgusting. <laughs> I actually knew only two people was going to eat all this. Is more fortune peppers in there? Uh-uh. Well, you're correct. It was only two people that ate this. But I got two sides left, and I'm going to be going to work tomorrow with that. Period. Two people got mad at me today over the phone. Oh, my, my, my foot asleep. So why? Because I'm in shit. Then, yo, do you see this? I'm all crammed up. Anyways, I'm in insurance now, right? So, when I tell you it's a lot, I don't really know what I'm talking about. I don't really know what I'm doing either. Like, yeah, training, but not enough, clearly, to me. So, I get this call, and then he's talking about, oh, my insurance lapsed or whatever, and I want to know if I owe anything. I paid yesterday. First of all, to me, I think that's a foolish question, because if you paid mm -hmm. yesterday then you ain't got nothing to pay you know but anyways as me being a good person i was like okay well i'll check for you so it's just a really confusing i don't know why they system so confusing it say all these numbers and i'm like uh my head hurt so i'm looking at all the numbers and i'm trying to go through the screens and everything and then i'm like okay so this is how much it is and he was like that's not right it should be nothing if it should be nothing, then why are you calling? But anyways, I'm like, okay, well, let me check a, a better look into it for you. And then uh, I'm sitting here trying to search for something. And because I got kind of irritated and kind of impatient and kind of worried with him breathing heavy over the phone, I was like, okay, can I put you on a brief hold? And I was like, okay. So I put him on a hold and I was like searching through everything trying to find this white man's payment. Clearly, I couldn't find it because there's nothing there. So I get back on the phone and I see the only number that's on there, I tell him that. And he was like, that's incorrect. You don't know what you're talking about. Let me get let me get a supervisor. I was like, okay, thank you. Me, personally, when people ask for a supervisor, I actually get happy. Because I'm like, I really don't know what I'm doing anyway. I wish somebody helped me. Like, that's all it takes. I just, for you to say that you need a supervisor, and I can just transfer you. Perfect. That works out great for me. I really don't want to hear it. We don't really get in trouble for transferring to a supervisor, you know? Mm -hmm. So, if I need help, I need help. So, I was like, perfect. That's all I needed him to say. So, I'm sitting here, and I'm trying to find a number. He was like, he was like, matter of fact, no, what's your name? I was like, it's Marjan, M-A-R-J-A-N. And I spell it out for him. I don't care if you tell him that it's me, because it's, it's a recorded line. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not scared that you're going to tell somebody, well, she was rude and all that stuff. It's all recorded. I ain't got to sit here and put on the front or yeah. try to cover myself. You know what I'm saying? I know what I said, and I said it correct. I did what I had to do. So, I don't really care. So, I spell my name out and everything. Write it down if you got to. I'll give him my email address, too. Huh. You know what I'm saying? I don't really be tripping. I guess they think that's a threat. I don't care. I be doing my job and I'm doing it right. So then I was like, okay. And I was like, okay, I'll get a supervisor. He was like, you don't know what the heck you're talking about. And then he was like, I'll call back. I was like, okay, if you want to wait in the line, that's fine. I could have just transfer you to somebody though. You know what I'm saying? But that's on you. I'm here all day. So I was like, okay, bye. And then, and then I'm not sure about that. And then the next girl, what'd she say? She was like, she was like trying to add, 
she had two sons on her policy. She wanted to take one off, but keep his car on there. But he was going to be driving the car on his own policy. Why would you want to pay for a car that you're not driving or it's on another policy? You double pay it. So I'm sitting there trying to explain that to her. And she was like, no, that's not the numbers we got. And I was like, I was like, well, you're keeping the car on there. So it's going to stay the same. You're just taking off a driver, but you're keeping the car on there. It's going to go down a little bit, but not that much. And we're down like a thousand dollars. So then I'm sitting here telling her, and I'm like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's what it's going to go down. She's like, that's not right. It should be more because it was this much before. And I'm like, I literally see the price in front of me, and I have the price that it said before. And then what you said, and then when I'm, what it went down to, she was like, the pressure it goes down to, that's what it was before. I was like, it literally says what you were paying, and then the price that I'm... But I was like, I was, I'm not going back and forth with you. So if you think you saw it for something else, I'm not going to sit here and go back and forth with you. You know what I'm saying? So she was like, okay, but I want to add this. I want to take this son off and take this son off, but keep the other one on in his car. And I was like, okay, does he have his own policy? And he was, she was like, yeah. And I was like, okay, so do you want to keep the car on there to pay to pay for the same car on two different policies? And she was like, no, I get you. You're just you're just confusing me. I was like, mm, you're confusing me. Like you know what I'm saying? Why would you want to? Like you know what I'm saying? So I was like, okay, well. And she was like, well, I'll call back when I have more information. I was like, okay, great. We'll we we'll hear from you soon. Bye. Have a good day. But I, I just be I just be nice about it because I'm just like I really don't know what I'm talking about. So if you ask me too about that's good for me. Like for real. <laughs> I'm not trying to mess up nobody's policy. Dang. Like for real. So. But I was like, y'all gonna hang up on me. I ask for a supervisor. That helps me. That don't that don't do nothing for me. Like that don't scare me or nothing. It don't at all. Even if I, when I'm starting work there, it don't scare me. It, it's almost a sign of relief. I'm like, I can finally get you to somebody that knows exactly what they're oh. talking about. And that's all you gotta do. And I'm not about to give my fun fact away because y'all all gonna be asking. I ain't trying to put them in that predicament. But it's oh. a little cheat sheet. I'm not even about to say it though. Uh, it's a little cheat. I told you, but I, it's a little cheat sheet, and I'm not about to say it. But I'm just like, when you, you told me, sorry, Danielle. <laughs> Don't look so frustrated. <laughs> Stop, leave me alone. <laughs> but yeah, it's tough. It's tough. It's tough. Stop right touching now. me. It's tough right now, but I'm gonna get through it. So I'm good. It's hot as hell. Help. Help. I don't know if we, if we, if somebody be like, what's your first and last name? I'm, to me personally, like, they don't say that we can't tell them, but at the same time, for my safety, I'm not about to say yeah. my last name. Mm-hmm. And yeah. somebody like, oh, what's your first and last name? My name is Marjan. If you can't find it up in the system, I'm the only Marjan here. It's not that hard. You're going to be able to find me. If you want to yeah. get me in trouble, go ahead and tell them my first name. You're going to be able to find me. I'm not giving you my last name. That's not how it's going to work. That's weird. I think that happened at Target one I time. I said they could see who they uh, talk to. It's all recorded. I'm, call, yeah. yeah, it's all recorded. I'm not about to tell you my whole, what you on my social security too? No, I'm not about to tell you all that information. But one time I was at Target and he was like, what's your first and last name and your employee um, number? I was like, I'm not telling you all that. And he and then, and then he was like, what's your, what's your name? And I was like, it's Mary. <laughs> okay, I'm calling back. Okay, call back. <laughs> Ain't no Mary work here. Okay, Danielle, look at me. Look Aww. at me. I can't go get no ice cream. I'm in bad. I'm in bad shape. I wish I had a bad, a best friend who could eat ice cream. Wow, that that really jabbed me. It's already hard enough. I'm going through this alone. If y'all can, if y'all can, um, dairy, uh, cherish that. Cherish that, cause boy, oh boy. These days I pray and wish I wake up lactose free. It's a sad world out here. But yeah, other than that, I like my new job. And it's not like they leave you in the dark. Like, even though we went through training, it's not like they just be like, oh no, figure it out on your own. But like, we can't charge for the call unless they be like, I want to speak to a supervisor. So I'd be like, I'll be hoping they be asking for a supervisor. I'll be praying they be asking for one. Because I don't be rude and nothing over the phone. I just be like, okay, I'll get you somebody. I don't be mad at nothing. And we can't hang up, so all I do is somebody yelling, I just turn it down. Mm. I just turn it down. I don't even mute it or nothing. I just sit there, listen to them, I let them talk, yell, whatever they got to do, but I turn it down. You're not about to blow my ears out. Mm-mm. What do they got to yell for? I guess they think that's going to get something across. I have got a whole bunch of calls where they come to me angry, and then, like, I calm them down. Because I just, I talk, I just talk regular. 
I don't get on that level. Ain't no point. I'm not about to be yelling around me. That's embarrassing. Yeah. They'll be like, I just want to sell my Heidi. I'm like, okay, well, what's your name? <laughs> I already gave him that information. Okay, what's your name? It's a new person. Look yeah, I don't know. I, oh, let me go back to this and see who I was talking to. I was like, okay, what's your name? I already gave him that. Okay, what's your name? It is so and so. Okay, I got your name now. Okay, just in case we get disconnected, what's your number? I gave them that. What's your number? You know, what I say I just repeat myself. I, I mean, cause you know, it's true. When you talk to people calm, they go right back down to your level. If you think about it, cause me personally, as soon as they start yelling, instead of having the microphone loud in my ear, I turn it down so it sounds like they're on my level. Hmm. You know, I be understanding people's frustration like it's their money, heck. I'll be mad too if I can't pay my insurance. It's kind of high. But, uh, yeah. It's all good. We're going to be all right. I got to move. I think I'm going to go to the, um, to the escalations team when I finish my 18 months. That's where all the um, complaints go. I don't mind taking complaints. It is. It was kind of weird when people was like, "You guys, you did this," and I'm like, eh, "I just worked here. I just worked here. I don't. I didn't do nothing. Mm. This is my first time even seeing your name." But then I was like, "Oh, they talking about the company. The company. Yeah." So I was like, "I ain't taking it personally." Except that one dude. He was like, "It's people like you, stupid. Don't know what they doing." Huh. And I was like, "Okay." That's too bad. Like, I said too bad, and that was my fault. I was supposed to say that, but I was like, that's too bad. And he was like, that's too bad. I want to speak to a manager. I was like, okay. <laughs> and then I just transferred a call. He hung up in the middle of it. I was like, I can't do nothing if you hung up. And I ain't had a number to call back. My foot asleep. I just be living my life. I think I think I'm I think I'm pretty good with people. I think I'm pretty good with people. When it come to me getting paid, <laughs> uh, that's a lie. Everybody. If I'm on the clock, if I'm on the clock, I'm pretty good with people. Everybody is is good with people when 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 they getting paid for it. Oh yeah. Oh for sure. What's that? Why did it dim like that? Um, uh, might be too hot. Dying. Uh. Uh-uh. <sighs> I'm pretty. Yeah, I'm pretty good. <clears throat> On the streets, I treat you just how you treat me. That's on that. Uber, don't tell me to cook your food the right way and then be mad when you get it the wrong way and I don't even cook. I want to throw that burrito at that girl's face. What burrito? From a point local. I said I didn't want this in there and I was like, girl, I didn't make the food. She was like, thanks a lot. I was like, you're welcome, B. I called it the B word. I don't care. And I drove off. Her neighbors was all tied too. I was like, yeah, y'all neighbors is a Karen. She's a Karen. She's annoying. She's a disgusting. She's a, a disgrace to the human race. Inhumane. No one in their right mind gonna tell a delivery person, this is not how I want my burrito made. Yeah. Because I was back there whipping it up. Let me take it back to my kitchen and cook it. I think that happened one time and I took their food and left. This is the one I ordered. Okay. Like, you think we're going to go back to the restaurant and get your food? Please. Go ahead and cancel the order because you ain't getting nothing. <laughs> Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You complained about it, I'll eat it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All that one time. Then, yeah, remember that one time? We were delivering food. Oh, no. It was from that Thai, <gasps> that Thai place on Sepulveda by um, Noodle World Jr., Swan your tire, whatever. Well, yeah. So, yeah, that person, I got like three orders of the same thing, and then I brought his last. And it was like, we ordered our food literally an hour ago. And I was like, that's weird because I just got the order 20 minutes ago. And then he was like, well, is there, like, it, where, is there any, like a reason for it? And I was like, look, bro, I just delivered the food. Shut up. Do you want it or not? Like, literally, mm-hmm. shut up. Like, do you want the food or not? Y'all hangry, I don't care. And I'm sitting here working on Eve, trying to bring your food to you. Be nice to delivery people, or you're going to get spitting your food. Now, for sure, like me, I'm not going to spit on my food, but like if I'm doing Grubhub on my off day, 
and I actually got the I'm gonna provide for myself without Grubhub, or I'm gonna do some dumb stuff to y'all for real. Like if you want to get rude with me on the can on the on on the phone, okay, I'll drop your food off. I'm gonna throw it though. I'm gonna eat that hoe. Okay, I'm gonna eat it, eat it, cause that's rude. Don't tell me to come bring your food up, cause no, I don't care what nobody say. I still stand behind that. If you order some food, come down and get it. I be in hotels all the time ordering food. What I do, go to the lobby and meet them. It's not that hard, literally. Nobody should be paying tag. You're it with your food. It's your food. Do you want it or not? Cause they, I'm sure they can eat it. Cause I've done it. Heck, you gonna feed me? Do not. That wasn't me. That was my stomach. That was living my stomach. I gotta get up. I'm so hot. Oh, bring it up to this floor. Mm. You're going to go behind this door, and then you're going to go behind this door. You're going to pass the security man. You're also going to see some, some um, you're going to see some selling, some guy selling dope in the corner. It's not going to be that door. It's going to be the door to the right of it. I'm not doing all that. Do you want your beef broccoli soup or no? I think I did one Instacart, and that girl, I think I told you that. It was like my first two Instacarts. And that girl, she was talking about bringing it up to this floor or whatever. And she had had bags of stuff. And I was, like, carrying it up these stairs. No elevator. And I tried to bring it to her door. But as soon as I got to the door, it wasn't a number or nothing on it. So I was like, well, it's going to be the door today. Yeah. Dropped her stuff right there. You find it in your, in your building. You find it. It's not my problem. I got so irritated. I get irritated with people that's lazy about their stuff. That's annoying. That's irritating. Especially if you think about it, like, some of these delivery people, they only make a $7 to do all that. And $7 don't even get you, like, two gallons of gas. So, why would I do all that, go wait for your food, and then do all this and literally in the span of an hour, and I'm only making $7? No. And they got the nerve to have a special oh. instructions with no tip. What? And a whole bunch of stuff. No. You you clearly don't want it. You want me to feed me and my family. That's crazy. I won't do that with, with groceries, but I will do that with... Yeah, I never done that with the groceries, because I ain't trying to... That's food, food, food. food. Yeah, food, food, nah. Mm-mm. Or that one time, that's why I don't like delivering alcohol, because, oh, you really need my ID? Uh, yes, I call. Like, are you, were you born yesterday? Are you stupid? I hate when people ask that question. You really need my ID? You can't tell I'm over 21? No, I can, but the system can't. I can tell you well over 78. But the system can't tell that. Like, what do you expect? That's why I'm glad I left Target because they just started selling alcohol at the Target I was at. And then she was like, you really need my ID for that? I mean, look at me. I was like, girl, I don't care how old you are. I don't care if you're literally wrinkled and shriveled up. I need ID to even get past the screen. I don't. I feel so young. I'm getting asked my ID, girl. I want to let him learn how to skate. Yeah, see, you said that. Stop watching the TV video. Do the good thing, girl. What time is it? It's nine. Nine what? Nine. Nine what? Nine. Get, please get your hot arm off my back. That's so hot. Okay, I'm leaving. I'm leaving the video. My leg is asleep. I'm hot. I'm leaving. She could she could keep the video going, but I gotta get up and move somewhere else. <laughs> Fix your face. You rude. Girl, I, can, I can't breathe. <laughs> I can't we can end the video. I, I can't even get up. <laughs> Damn, yo, you broke my anklet. Oh. Stop rubbing my I literally just held your arm. Don't flatter yourself. This is you. Show show the camera. This is her. That's not what I'm doing. That's, I literally. I guess you don't even notice. I did it. this, and then I felt a lump right here. No, get out of my face. You really be flattering yourself for no reason. Just stop touching me all the time. Okay, bye guys. I'm I'm gonna go. She 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 could start a new video if she wants to, but I'm gonna end this video and I'm gonna get up and move somewhere else. Yeah, All right, you are so. <laughs> I'm hot. Get a fan. You buy a fan to hit in. You look how much fans be, and just to blow out in the middle of nothing.
It's always year round hot. A fan I get is not gonna last that long. Cause I'm not about to buy no fan over twenty four dollars. I'm cheap. So foolish. You got a fan in your room? Yep. And then pack it up and start bringing it over here. Oh no, it's just too heavy for that. And where is your being at? Where is your to go being? Buy buy me a bin. Then yo, oh. you're asking for too much. Then y'all said she was going to bring a to-go bin over here to keep her stuff in. Because there's stuff all around my room. I don't like that. I don't got nothing around your room. I got my, my purse right here and I got my shoes over there. That's it. That's it. Where's my stuff? It be all over the place. Where? There you go. Exactly. Stop being so smart. Keep on. Keep on. In the video, please. Keep on. Please, in the video. All right, y'all. Like she said, unfish your, uh, unfish your arms. Unfish your um, hands. Stop hitting me. And say sorry. <sighs> then y'all about to kill me, so I guess we're going to go. If y'all don't see me in the next video, it's because she did it, so. Then y'all, we best friends. Do you really think I, that I would be cap capable of murdering somebody? We gotta take that out. We ain't gonna be. We ain't gonna be um ver verified. <laughs> okay, take that out. I'll, no, you keep that in I'll, there. I'll, Stop I'll, Sue be talking about it all the time. I'll though. rephrase it. Okay, take it out. But she be talking about it all the time. Okay, but I'm gonna rephrase it. Do you think that I'm capable of harming yes. someone? Harming yes, like, like yes. Actually, yes. No, <laughs> I guess you don't really know me, then. But okay. Do you think I'm capable of harming somebody? No. Really, really. Yeah. Really. You really think I don't care? I can't do it. Yeah, I know you cannot. Even if I'm like in the time of need. We're not talking about just hitting somebody. We're talking about jabbing them. Jabbing them. What? My first question. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about just punching punch somebody in the face. But you can't see me doing that. What? Like for self defense? No. You can't see me standing up for myself no, and punching them? No. Not not what you saying. Yeah, no. You talk a lot of mess, but you ain't going to do do nothing about it. Taze nothing. No. Run them over nothing. No. You literally witnessed me do that. You so, didn't run nobody over. <laughs> I don't know what, what you're I've done about. it almost plenty of times. But you're when not we was up in, it. when we was up in, um, in, uh, like West I Hollywood. said, you talk a lot of talk, but you're not gonna do nothing. If I am, no, I do feel like I'm gonna do something if it's for somebody else. Like my grandma, my grandma house, I don't just be talking. If somebody was really, like, if somebody was really well, in you the way, you do be talking because you said something. You don't even have them the freaking material. The material? What you mean the material? The plow plow? Yes. Okay, then that's why I got my gun. And that was I mean, super stupid of you to even say. What? That I would have blew his tires out? Or I said something even worse? Even worse. Okay, they deserve it. They deserve it. I asked one of them how they was doing the other night. Because once you give respect, you give respect. That's the whole That's the whole name of the game. So, so why you didn't start with that in the beginning? You so dumb. Why would I give respect if I wasn't getting it? You just said once you give respect, you give respect. So when they stop parking in the driveway, that's giving respect. They stop parking in the driveway, so now I give respect. When my brother was little, he was getting bullied at school. I told that little that little boy, he had a big head and it looked like son, like he was just something was off. You know what I'm saying? Like just weird. You know what I'm saying? And he was just like <laughs> Stop. I guess he got hit in the head too many times when he was playing football. Little I don't know how I freaking saw you behind my eyelids, but I freaking saw you. Stop. Then yeah, he was talking about my, my, my brother. I'm going to say what I want. Anyways, he was talking about my brother, and then he was talking about beating up my brother. So I went up to him, and I said, if you ever say something about my brother again, I'm going to beat your ASS. And when he do, he stopped. His sister came up there the next day. She saw how big I was, and she ain't said nothing to me. It's like, yeah, because what you going to do? I feel like when it comes to... Uh, seriously... When it comes to other people, my family especially, I literally, I don't think I'm just all talk. If something go down, something go down. 
that's just all in the drilling. Anyway. I like how this turned into you when I'm the one who when I'm the one who, who asked the question. Yeah, because you asked me the question. I asked you the question about me. Anyways, bye guys. We're Do leaving. I think you could hurt somebody? No, I don't care anymore. Bye. Me personally, I don't think Danielle could hurt nobody. Because honestly, she said if I even get into a fight or if somebody beat me up, she's not going to help me. That's kind of scary. If I saw somebody getting beat up, it ain't even got to be a family member. I'm going to help. I'm going to try to pull them out. I'm not going to try to help fight because I can't fight. But I'm going to try to help you pull them out. You want me to just sit there? Okay, that, that man thing at the gas station that beat that girl up. And if I saw you be getting beat up by that man thing, would I just sit there? I wouldn't even sit there. I didn't even I know mean, the girl. I would have gone on there yeah. and try to pull her out. In that kind of situation, I, w- I would try to go help. But I'm talking about, like, if you talking mess and somebody else. What'd you say? I don't care. I'm over Damn, it. Damn, it happened. You know I can't do nothing. So I guess that's what you mean. When she tried to get out of the car, she was like, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? I'm not all talk. I know I can't fight. And I told her that. She was like, and what you gonna do? Um, you scared? You scared? I said, yeah, I'm scared. Look at you and look at me. I guess I am all talk. But my mouth moved faster than my my, my, my um my actions, I guess. And it showed to leave people alone, though. How foolish do you look getting out the car in the middle of the street? Then, yo, me and you just sat there looking at her. Because I wasn't about to do nothing. It's a whole ape that escaped from the zoo. I'm not about to do nothing. And I never claimed to either. If somebody ever come to me like that with some problems like that, it's something wrong with them. Not me. I'm not going to try to go, go fight them. Anyways, if y'all if y'all still watching this, um, now see if y'all still watching this, tell Marjan to put up the um, cooking vlogs. Oh yeah, I got that right now. But it's two of them. Tell let her know. Hurry up now. If I said if I said look if I said they uh, I'm gonna be her butt for telling me that we're gonna fight them in the middle street. That's me all talking. But I specifically told that girl when she was like, "Are you scared?" I said, "Yes." Look at you and look at me. That made her more irate. But at the end of the day, I still got away from her. I gotta. I guess I, I guess I will be all talking to somebody do something to me. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not scared of nobody. I don't walk around being scared of people. That's dumb. But at the same time, you're not about to get me in your little eight fight. I was not about to get in the middle of the street and go fight her. Would you? No. No. To me, people feel like fighting solves the answer. I don't think it solves anything at all, unless we find it for some money or something. But even then, it got to be a hefty price. Anyway, are you scared? Are you scared? Yes. I had a reason for that question, but now I forgot because I definitely asked that question for a reason. But I forgot. So, and then Danielle, she be all talk too because you be pulling out your taser and we can go to jail for that. But you pull out your taser for people just staring at you wrong. So, I I put on my taser once, and that man was definitely weird. So, you didn't pull out your taser once. I admit that man was weird. (laughs) I put out my finger once. So are you all talk or you just want to seem intimidated so nothing happened to you? Well, I was in a car when I put out my taser. It was going to happen to me in a car. That's what I be thinking. I'm not going to get out of my car to tase somebody for staring from his car. That's what I'm saying. But he was weird. So yes, I did. I, I In that situation, I did that so he would stop being weird and stop looking. So that's a form of all talking. Okay. I never said I was going to tase him. Yeah, I know. But that's why people make it seem like all talk is bad. Sometimes all you got to do is talk. And the scaredy cats really be the person that be like, you want to fight? You ain't going to ask me want to fight. You just going to come to me. Right? You be talking to everybody crazy for the most part. And you don't know what they got. I know? guess. Thank God we ain't, they ain't had nothing this far. I can't say I could work on it, but I got other things to work on. So, how about people just don't test me? <laughs> Are you done? But then, yeah, that's you see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? <laughs> then, 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 you see what I'm saying, though? Yes. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> Cause you funny. Why we sit here trying to talk and you be sitting there? Oh my god! <laughs> we were told to end the video like seventeen minutes ago. <laughs> Not seventeen minutes ago. It was literally five minutes ago. It was at nineteen. You think you've been talking for only five minutes? <laughs> Fix your posture. Leave me alone. <laughs> you think you all talk, Marjan? I don't say nothing to nobody. Mm-hmm. 
I and I guess today is Sunday because you absolutely lying. I don't say nothing to nobody. Danielle, yes, you do. I I show my cases to that man one time. Danielle, you literally say stuff to people. Like what? Danielle, I know I'm not sitting in no other, other universe. Mm. You literally be saying stuff to people. Like what? What are you looking at? Dad, what are you doing? Like you be saying stuff to people. That's not me trying to. I don't know. That's not me, like, saying nothing crazy. When I be cringing... What are you looking at? When I be cringing, you don't know what they got. That I be in the same predicament. When you be what? When I be cringing. What are you talking about? For example. When you be cringing? I be cringing. What? When you be starting saying, saying certain stuff. You be like, I don't give a F. I don't know what you're talking about. But you do it, though. Because you be telling me to stop or stop saying certain stuff. I don't care. I'm not saying that it's nobody. I'm just saying stuff in general. That could pertain to somebody. Like in the grocery store, for example, earlier when I when I was talking about the chips and, and how, the store, how the store was dumb and you were saying stop or whatever. I don't know what you told me, but I did not care because one, the person who was by me, this isn't his store. He just shop here. No, that's not what I'm talking about. Okay, so I don't know what you mean, man. Because I don't, I don't stuff. stuff. I think it's funny how, like, you just say stuff, like, pertaining to somebody around you, but you say it out loud. Oh, okay, because you're doing something stupid in my space. Like, that one That's time. That's what I'm saying. Like, that one time in the 99 cent store, when I was standing, I was standing there looking at the stuff in the aisle, mm -hmm. and that lady, I'm not going to say her race, she came and stood straight in front of me. That's rude. She, what she did was rude, so me saying something That's out loud. That's what I'm loud, saying. Yeah. That's rude. I don't just say it out of my butt. You, you did something to me. That's what I'm saying. That's how I be feeling. I'm going to say what I want. Like, when I was when that girl said she was going to find me in the middle of the street, I said, what is your ugly monkey self looking at me for? <gasps> Hello, Mom. <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, but like, that's the same thing as that girl. That tried to find me when I said, "What is your monkey self looking at?" Because we were, I'm not for my friends. I'm enjoying me and my friends' company. We minding our business, and that's one thing I don't like. When you mind your business, somebody in it, that's annoying. You know what I'm saying? Mind the business that pays you. We're sitting here having a good time. We laugh like hyenas. That's our prerogative. You know what I'm saying? She literally, what was that for? Share, share the space. I gotta stretch my leg. That was extra. Anyways, she pulled up, stopped by the car. Gave us the stankiest look and didn't expect me not to say nothing. I said, hello, what is your monkey self looking at? Then she pulled over in the other lane because I guess she's scared. And then she got out behind her car and started going off and stuff. It's not my fault I said what I saw. You know what I'm saying? If you feel offended by that, I said what I saw. You should have been in your business and, and leave me alone. And she was like, what'd you say? What'd you say? And I was like, was I talking to you? Because I wasn't talking to her. I was talking to my friends about you. And if you were minding your business, you wouldn't have heard it. But as soon as you heard it, you, you take it with how you want to take it. And yeah, like I said, you're a monkey. Acting like that out of exhibit. No. And I'm going to say what I want to say. And what did she do? She's doing all that in the middle of the street. Two lanes over behind her car. Anybody that say, do you want to fight? Oh, it's going to be on sight. I'm going to fight you. Stop doing all the talking. Go do it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all be scary. For what? I don't know. Like, I can't fight. But it's like, if you want to fight, I just feel like you would go fight somebody. You the scary person. If you saying you're going to fight, let's fight. Let's fight. And you're not doing it. Be about it. Stop talking about it. And then after you fight, tell me what you accomplished. Let's have let's have a motive. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's a waste of time. But the two random sickos that tried to get in a fight with me in the middle of the street, both of them lost because I didn't get out of my car. My car was still in drive. And you don't want to try to sit in there and fight in the middle of the street. No, I'm good. Mm-mm. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna sit here and fight back with you? Argue back with you? Mm -mm. Not me. But that's what I mean. Okay. I don't be all talk. Stop I told her straight up. I told her straight Stop. up. Stop. I told her straight up. I can't fight. Okay. So I'm not even gonna try. And if I say something out of pocket, I say it out of pocket. Take it and leave it. Bye. Okay. I said what I said. Can't take it back and put it in my mouth and be like, oh, I didn't say that. Oh, I didn't say that. If you come to me and say what I said, I'm gonna say what I said. If it's meant for you and you in a shoe fist, lace it up and wear it. 
I don't care about your feelings. Like, you know, people too be too sensitive nowadays. Everything they hear gotta be pertaining to them. Well, I just feel like, shut up. Shut up. It's 2021 and y'all so, y'all so offended by everything. Shut up. It's annoying. You can't say what you want without people getting offended. Or feeling like, oh, I gotta make it fit. I gotta make it fit. My, 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 I gotta make it fit. My shoes. She's talking about me. I'm the one that she's talking about. You're not the main character. You the extra is getting paid $600. That's it. That's it. My stomach is talking. What did I even eat? Dang. A point of local pencil beans really be going straight through me. It's annoying. Oh my god. Anyways, I'm in this video. I'm making the executive decision by myself to end this video. Bye. Hope y'all <laughs> like this video. See y'all later. We we love y'all. Make sure y'all like this video. Subscribe. Leave a comment. Um see see y'all next video. Bye. Say bye. Bye y'all. We love you. And wait, then y'all not, not you got to say you, you got to say your ending. Let me say my ending. Danielle, let me say my ending. Let me say my ending. Let me say my ending. I don't know who gonna fix that. Bye. <laughs>